fundamental processes of running an assessment uh, are stem from the IPCC and, and the way that they've established their processes. Uh, we have to modify that slightly to try and to try and address the complexity of the, the area we're working with. It's going to be an iterative process in the sense that, uh, again, what's being proposed for IPBES is that there's actually a dialogue between the policymakers and, uh, and the scientific community in what kinds of questions should be addressed. What we can do from a scientific point of view is to present to policymakers uh, consequences of decisions that can be made into the future in terms of what is going to happen if you make a decision A or you make a decision B or a decision C and then it, we have to leave it up to them to make the right decision. Once again, welcome uh, to the United Nations University headquarters here in Tokyo. This workshop needs to be focused more on the concrete process of the assessment and what will be the very important essence of the assessment, uh, which is particularly uh, important in uh, IPBES. I'm going to be presenting the results of the survey that we took between January 8th and February 1st, 2012. This survey was confined to looking at only the assessment component and to some extent the governance structure for implementation. We were really surprised that we had about 2,300 odd participants who opened the survey with 1,600 which basically hit the submit button. Now in terms of the results, I think one of the, uh, I would sort of classify into four categories. The first is this really strong urge by the scientists to have independence. Now, this doesn't mean that they don't want governments involved, but they want a process which is scientifically independent and where they can basically take the best information, generate the information without any undue political pressure. Now, the second is the transdisciplinary. Uh, there was an overwhelming response, about nearly 90%, which says we really need to have a transdisciplinary approach. Uh, but when we drill down into the data set, uh, we don't have a really good representation of social sciences. We try to reach out as, as uh, executive director of IHDP, that's one of our biggest networks, and it was really difficult. So this is a challenge for us, for IPBES, to how to mobilize the social sciences to really get engaged and bring in that uh, uh, knowledge into um, IPBES. Then the third is the uh, process, in uh, an open and transparent process. So following up on the independence, uh, the scientists were very, very clear there on the selection of scientists, um, how they should be selected, um, and how the reviewing process is. And the last key message would be the role of the UN agencies. And it's interesting that the scientific community wants the UN agencies in, even for mobilizing the scientific community, but to be working very closely with the scientific communities. IPCC serves one convention, the Climate Convention. Uh, IPBES will serve multiple conventions, the Biodiversity Convention, uh, migratory species, uh, desertification, all the environmental related conventions. So there'll be a, a big difference also, the, in, which will play out in, in, in the governance a, a bit. But exactly how the governance, governance will work will depend a little bit more on negotiations. But this, this difference between doing local versus global uh, makes a huge difference because that means more uh, there'll be more information from the local level which will bring in more uh, traditional knowledge as well as scientific uh, Western-based science. So there'll be a marriage between the two at the local level. So there's a lot of differences. Well, how inde independent these regional uh, acceptance will be, I think there's a general feeling that whatever the dispersion is, there has to be a unified conceptual framework and some unified metrics for, the, for doing things. You can't compare uh, different places if they, they've done it in different ways. So, but I think the, the regional areas, the local areas will want you know, a lot of uh, 
freedom to, to conduct it in their own way, but still there has to be some, some uniformity. So that's going to be the little tug of war that's going to be there. I have, however, been very much involved with this whole discussion about the creation of IPIS since the early beginning. So I, I'm quite interested in this agenda and seeing this uh, uh, discussion uh, finally being uh, concluded. So I'm looking forward to uh, uh, this next meeting in Panama and to the recommendations that uh, this meeting here in Tokyo will uh, forward to it. Yeah, I, I hope IPIS yeah. will play an important role, just as the IPCC has been uh, very critical for the decisions on climate change. Uh, uh, biodiversity is a very complex issue. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainties and there's a lot of conflicts of interest. So bringing uh, uh, the results of science uh, in a more consolidated way and in a more policy relevant way should help. The UNU has a long tradition of following the, the, the political discussions on biodiversity, especially uh, uh, as part of the Convention on Biological Diversity. So there's a lot of expertise here at the United Nations University and uh, I believe UNU uh, can play an even uh, uh, more significant role in supporting uh, the work of IPBIS and the support of uh, the parties, the countries themselves in terms of decision making for biodiversity. The government of Japan, especially the Minister of the Environment of the Japanese government, uh, thinks the IPBIS is the one of the most important organiza organization which has been uh, establishing uh, since the CBD convention itself and because all the government uh, should develop their policies uh, based on the scientific uh, knowledge and assessment and uh, we need more uh, integration uh, between the science and the policy. I would focus on human development I will focus on economic development because these are the uh, major themes that are on the minds of a lot of policy uh, makers. And uh, I would go on record by saying that IPBES could be the mechanism that the Secretary General has recently called for a global sustainability panel. And, and IPBES would provide that because sustainability is ecosystems. And, and sustainability is human development. These are the two critical elements for IPBES. So there you go.